Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you. Hello? Oh, Coach McDermott. <laughs> What's going on, man? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad you uh, returned my call. So I was hoping that. Uh... Oh, you did. Uh... Is there any way I can change your mind? No? So you're going with. Uh... You're going with Derek. I, no, listen, I get it. I get it. He's got a little bit more experience than I do. He's got some years in the league. Uh, I was just really hoping that you give me a shot. With Josh Allen going down, Nate Peterman doing what he does best. Um, so there's no way that can change your mind? No, I got it. I appreciate it. Take care. That was Coach McDermott. I figured since anybody's getting a chance to play quarterback, I thought I'd throw myself in there. I guess they decided to go with the more experienced quarterback in Derek Anderson. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy back at it again. And here we are. <laughs> what are we, week six, week seven? It doesn't matter because right now the way the season's coming along and the way the season's going offensively, putrid. Let's just let's call it a buck. It's putrid. It's not looking good offensively. We're near what, the bottom. Are we surprised? Should we be shocked? No. A lot of us went into this season thinking, eh, we should win probably four, maybe five, maybe six games. But you know what the Bills do to us, right? They give us hope. They win games you don't think they're going to win. And then they just do what they normally do. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new starter at quarterback. <laughs> and that is Derek Anderson. For those that do not know who Derek Anderson is, Derek Anderson has been on the couch <laughs> all off season and we decided to give him a call and say hey come mentor our quarterbacks our young bucks in nate peterman and josh allen but most importantly josh allen a move that should have been done ages ago why you ask well in the off season if you guys remember correctly we brought in agent mccarran it was supposed to be a battle right everybody gets a shot at trying to earn reps with the number one team and show what they got nate peterman ended up winning the job but he could not keep it how he lost it by doing what he does best throwing interceptions i get roasted all the time for showing support in nate peterman but you know what nathan peterman ended up winning the job how he won the job by being efficient and proving a lot of people wrong in preseason. But a lot of people will say preseason doesn't matter. Are they right? Are they wrong? Who knows? It's all subject to who is giving that opinion. Josh Allen sustained a terrible, unfortunate injury to his elbow, which is going to put him out at least two to three weeks, if not longer. Good news is no surgery. This allows him to rest and learn something sitting in the backup role. Nate Peterman destroyed all chances last game when he reeled this in by throwing a beautiful pass in a corner to Zay Jones. And in the same breath, he throws a game winning touchdown to the other team. <laughs> Big six. My man is gone. Touchdown. Derek Anderson will now get to start for the Buffalo Bills. Who knows how many damn quarterbacks we've had to start for this damn team. I lost count. We just can't seem to find the one. But we have the veteran going in. Now, Derek Anderson starting does not mean that we are all of a sudden going to be an offensive juggernaut. <laughs> Let me break something down for you so you guys know exactly who Derek Anderson is. Seven years with the Panthers, four years with Cleveland Browns, and he did a single year with the Arizona Cardinals. 47 starts, a record of 20 and 27, 54% completion percentage, over 10,000 yards passing, 60 touchdowns, and 60 interceptions. Now it's not all doom and gloom. He had one pretty damn good year in Cleveland where he actually was nodded to go to the Pro Bowl. 3,700 yards passing, 29 touchdowns, 19 interceptions, 56% completion percentage with a 66 QBR. Led the Cleveland Browns to a 10 and five record. Typically, that gets you a wild card spot into the playoffs. But in 2007, that was the year New England Patriots went 16 and 0. Cleveland went 10 and 5 and missed the playoffs. That AFC North was always a tough division to play in. So we've got a guy that's played in this league that has experience. Some would say we are wasting the efforts of the defense. Some would say this defense is perfect. They're learning together, even though we don't have a good offensive nucleus. In my opinion, the 
great defensive efforts of this defense is being wasted by the ineptitude of this offense. We can't run, we can't pass, and we certainly don't have any discipline. Those three ingredients are a great recipe for having an unsuccessful losing season. This should be very interesting. So what are we expecting from Derek Anderson? Y'all let me know. I want you guys to comment. What do we expect from Derek Anderson? Can we expect Josh Allen to learn something behind Derek Anderson as he starts? Was McDermott on the hot seat? Because my man was stuck between a rock and a hard place. What poison do you pick? Rumor is, if he were to start Nate Peterman, he would have lost the locker room. So he had no choice but to go with a guy like Derek Anderson. How do you guys feel about that? Was it the right move? Should he have stuck with Derek Anderson? Should he have just stayed with Nate Peterman since Nate Peterman knows the offense instead of going to a guy that's been on the team less than eight days? Did we botch this whole QB situation? Should we have gotten a guy like Matt Moore? Should we have gotten somebody that we knew we were going to keep on this team? Should we have kept McCarron? A lot of questions, a lot of questions. Please comment your answers below. What are your thoughts? Please, I want to know because this is going to be an interesting next few weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Derek Anderson, new starting quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. How do we deal? It's your boy. And I'm gone. Bitch, I wanna party like